Good morning and a blessed Veterans Day to all you out there. Thank you so much for joining me for this song and a Bible reading. I hope it can be a time where we can connect with the Lord and he can draw us closer unto himself and it can be a time where you can be encouraged and uplifted and I'm so glad that we can do that together. It is a bit of a cool morning here but hey it is almost the middle of November so I guess you got to expect that. We don't have snow like our friends up north but it's a little cool but I love this time of year like I've said before. The song I had picked out today is one that I think most of us know. See if I can do the chorus to it. I know that my Redeemer lives. I know eternal life He gives. I know, I know that my Redeemer lives. I know, I know that my Redeemer I know, I know eternal life He gives. I know, I know that my Redeemer lives. I know, I know that my Redeemer lives. I know, I know eternal life He gives. I know, I know. I know that my Redeemer lives and that I shall stand in the last day. That's what Job said. Even after he had been going through such a tough time, he still knew that, uh, excuse me, he still knew where he stood with his Lord. You know, we may doubt sometimes when we go through certain things in our lives. But if we really sit and think about it, what the Lord has done, what he has provided for us, it's not too hard to figure out that he is the one that has given us all blessings. And he continues to do that. So I know that my Redeemer lives, and because he lives, we too shall live also. And what a wonderful hope we have in Christ. Thank you so much, Lord, for everything you've done. We're going to be going to 2 Peter today. So I'm going to get out my Bible. For those that you are ever wondering, I'm, I'm reading actually out of a paper Bible. I know that's a little odd these days. And I, I got to admit I read on my phone or the computer quite a bit. But I thought, oh... I am um, for this Bible reading on online. I'm going to use my Bible. I still love that the best. You can still underline and mark and make notes. And I haven't quite figured out exactly how to use the Bible app in regards to that. Although I should mention these apps um, that are on the phones or the computers, they have just all the resources that you could ever want, you could chase down references forever and ever. And it's a wonderful way to get to know the word of the Lord and get to know what the context is of a certain verse or what a certain word might mean, where it's used other other places. And uh, I would encourage you as we read through the scriptures and you find maybe a word or a verse that you're not quite sure about, find references to it where the same thing is spoken about in other parts of the scriptures. God will never establish a truth once. He will always um, back it up. And so that's a wonderful thing. So many times I find there are people that will take maybe a single verse or a single word and they'll build a doctrine around that. And you just can't, you can't do that. I mean, God doesn't work that way. So we have to be careful about that. But 
I would encourage you, chase down those references, run down that rabbit hole, and you will always come away just so full of his word, so um, impressed with how deep the Lord is and how much he loves us. And it's, uh, it's, quite, a, it's quite a story he's put together. And uh, I'm so thankful for it. So we're going to go to 2 Peter. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for your word. We want to thank you that we have access to it, that we can freely read it. It's in our own language that we don't have to interpret too much. Yet, we do need your Holy Spirit in order to gain access to the real root of what you are wanting us to know. So Lord, we just pray that you would come by your Spirit and just sit with us as we read. In Jesus' name, amen. 2 Peter 1, Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. According as his divine power, has given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust, Wonderful. And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue, knowledge, and to knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, patience, and to patience, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. For if these things be in you and abound, they will make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. We don't want that. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and has forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Let us not forget that. Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure For if ye do these things, you shall never fail, fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though you know them, and be established in the present truth. Yea, I think it meet as long as I am in this tabernacle to stir you up by putting you in remembrance, knowing that shortly I must put off this my tabernacle, even as our Lord Jesus Christ has shown me. 15. Moreover, I will endeavor that ye may be able, after my decease, to have these things always in remembrance. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Wouldn't that have been a wonderful thing? For I received from God the Father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount. We also have a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. 
For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Amen. And we need that same Holy Ghost to inspire us to understand the things that were inspired to be written by those men of old. It's not a newspaper that we can just read and learn from or a magazine, but it is the living word of God that liveth and abideth forever. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I want to remind you, again, go to our website, amundsenfamilymusic.com, and click on the blue button that says VIP, and we'd really appreciate it if you uh, joined us there. We're, We're going to be doing all sorts of things, question and answers, behind the scenes songs. Right now, we have a podcast up there on the VIP. We have Ira and Sonora's song. They sang, I'll be waiting on the far side banks of Jordan. That's on our VIP site, only place to see it. And we're going to be putting up another podcast, maybe even today. Yeah, on our VIP site. So that's where you can get all the action there. Let's see what else can I tell you. Oh yeah, while you're at our website, go get yourself one of these that Gabe made. Beautiful, kind of a wooden silhouette thing that you can set on your table. We have coffee mugs. Of course, we have our CDs. And uh, who knows, maybe there's some other things you might be interested in there. As well, we have now a new YouTube channel where these uh, songs and Bible readings will be placed exclusively on YouTube. We'd really love if you would go check out that YouTube channel, subscribe to it, and watch them on there. That would be wonderful. And there they will stay. We'll, at least for now, we'll continue on Facebook. I'm not sure if we'll change that or not, but we'd love for you to... um, It would benefit us if you could watch it on YouTube. So thanks so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. We want to honor those that have served in the in the forces for us and have risked their lives and have uh, put aside their lives for our safety. We want to thank you and thank the Lord for them. So hope you have a blessed day, and Lord willing, we will see you tomorrow morning.